What's up, DMOC House? In this video, I'm gonna answer the question I've been getting a ton of questions about. Clue bindings, do I actually like them? How am I liking them now that I've been on them for a year now? I have hundreds of days on the clue bindings and what do I feel about the bindings? And so that's what we're gonna answer in today's video. I'm gonna be completely honest. I do have to say, Clue does sponsor me, but I'm gonna tell you all the pros and cons to this binding. What are you, what's your user experience gonna be like if you get clues? First thing first, if this is your first time noticing the clue bindings, you're like, what are clue bindings? They are a hybrid step-in system bindings or step-in binding. The reason why I call them hybrid is they have this awesome straps. They like are traditional bindings, which we're gonna get into a lot of that soon. But they also have the option to eject and be a step-in binding, which is incredible, especially when you're riding a resort, riding groomers, the step-in function, it works incredible. So the way it works is there's this red handle right here in the back, you pull that and you can release the binding and then now you have this high back that's hanging on the back of your foot. On the back of the high back is this sick little hook thing right here and that's what hooks into the base plate. The base plate in this little heel cup area has a two lock-in system. First lock-in is kind of like just to get you in there. The second one is when your bindings are fully locked in and ready to rock. And that's how the bindings work. You'll strap in for the beginning of your day and then every time you get to the lift line or whatever, you just pull the red handle, eject your foot, go up the lift, get off the lift, put your foot back in. It's super simple. Now, a lot of the haters or the people that I know online like to say, well, someone could just pull this or this doesn't get caught on a tree or something and your foot's gonna eject. First off, if you're getting that caught on something, I think your foot getting ejected is the least of your worries. You're probably getting pretty wrecked. But I have had zero malfunction ejections, like my foot coming loose out of nowhere. Haven't had that at all. We send big parts. These bindings have held up in massive park riding. They've held up in insane power riding, dropping a bunch of nasty cliffs and drops and stuff. These bindings are going to keep you in there and hold you in there. Now they are a stiffer binding. If you're really into buttering or like, want a very loose binding, which I'm not a big fan of that. I like to be really secure to my snowboard. The stiffer the binding for me, the better. And this is a this is a stiffer binding. Now I mentioned the bindings in powder. They absolutely rip the powder. But one thing that you are going to have happen sometimes in pow is you're only gonna get to the first click if you're stepping in really deep pow. So at the back of the binding, you'll actually see like a little quarter inch gap. So if there is snow in your heel cup when you go to step in, it's still gonna step in and lock. But if there is a ton of snow, you might only lock into the first lock. You will always lock into the bindings always but you won't always lock into the second click you might need to clean out that little area and then step in i sometimes get frustrated when i'm like man i can't get it to the first click if it's a really powdery day so what i do and this is the best part of the clue bindings because it shows the versatility of them is on a pow day i don't use the step in function if i know i'm going to be in really deep nasty sick pow i just run them like traditional bindings because that's an option they have straps so if you're running into a really slushy day where it's caking up in there or weird snow, because let's be real, there's weird snow, it gets icy, it builds up in any binding. I don't care what binding you have, snow buildup is a real thing and you're gonna have to clear it out. But with, once again, with the clues, if the step-in system's getting a hiccup because of snow buildup, just run the bindings like traditional bindings. It's super rad. Now, when it comes to being strapped in and everything, I do really like to be extremely tightened in on my binding. So when I'm ripping parks and in sevens and things, I'm gonna crank my bindings down as tight as I possibly can which then makes my foot go numb after being in like that tightened down for a while. So when I get into the maze, I like loosen up my bindings and then unhook. When I have my bindings loose, it does make the step in not so smooth. When my bindings are fully tightened down, stepping out, stepping in is super easy and everything like that. But my feet go numb and then my feet start to hurt. So that's more of a personal problem for the average consumer that doesn't crank their bindings ridiculously super duper tight. You'll have a seamless in and out. Now, when it comes to the ladders and, and everything like that, I have had one toe strap break on me over the year of riding, and that's just because they break over time. It's very common with any binding. I've never owned a pair of bindings that never had a, a ladder break on me. And then on my heel side one, the one that I'm constantly loosening and tightening, it's getting a little worn down, but that's gonna happen once again with any. And the cool thing is Clue offers replacement ladders available for you. So if you're like, dude, my ladder broke, the Clue suck. Not true, that happens with any bindings and you can get new ladders on their website. Damon filming this said, uh, I should explain that. I, it's not, wasn't just a year on the, the bindings. I've had like hundreds of days of like riding nonstop. I, I ride every single day basically guys. Also in crazy conditions, I've rode the bindings in Mount Hood. I've rode them in New Jersey. I've rode them at Liberty Snowflex, which is a carpet situation. Like the bindings have performed in every situation that I've taken the bindings at, which is rad. Now wear and tear, we talked about the ladders, but how is the high back doing? This is my first high back I got from Clues. So I've been rocking these a ton. And at the bottom, you can see it's getting a little beat up. It's It's been used, it looks used, but it also looks incredible for thousands and thousands of unhooks and clicks in. 
this little ejection option, like no issues. I haven't like re-waxed or put any WD-40 in. Like it works just fine. Like the release system still works. The high back all still works. The little wear and tear is like literally minuscule. Like it looks incredible to me. Now the base plate doesn't have as much wear and tear as the high back because I have multiple base plates across multiple boards, which allows me to take just my high back. I'll eject the high backs from the, the custom and then I can go put them on my thruster and then I just leave my board like this and then my other boards have this. So like my binding just steps into this. So it is a big initial investment to get the clues, but once you get the high back in your first system, you can buy just the base plates and then set up all three of your snowboards. And then you just make sure you grab your high back each day. And then you have boards ready to go at all times. And the high backs are a lot cheaper than buying a full binding. Like it's just really rad. But for the wear and tear, like no issues at all. These things are killing it. Like quality, quality product. Also, if you don't want your high backs to wear down faster, like don't go in the bathroom with them or go into lodges or walk on cement. Like I do keep my bindings on snow. And then if I'm going inside, I fully eject the bindings. So that's about it. Now, if you have any specific questions or something that I'm not thinking of, like ask that in the comments so I can answer it for you. The clues are insane. And I have an affiliate link in the description if you want to snag yourself a pair of them. They are sold out, so they're up for pre-order. And that's because these bindings are rad. They're hard to get. They're made in Germany. They're really incredible bindings quality made and I'm loving them. I don't see me getting off clue period because I really enjoy the bindings. I feel really strong when I'm rocking them and riding with them. So yeah, clue bindings for the win. I hope you guys enjoyed that feedback. Once again, ask me any questions you got. And as always, single guys, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on this Snowboard channel and we do stuff like this daily.